Lighting makes or breaks a render. Look at the difference between these two renders. In one of them, I've only used a sun lamp. In the other one, I've used some advanced lighting techniques that I'm going to show you in this video. Lighting tip number one, spread. Create an area lamp and go to the area lamp settings. There we can change the spread. When you change this value from 180 to one, you can see the shadow change drastically. And this is exactly what we want because now we can play around with the lighting to get a specific sort of look. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to dial it all the way back to one, but then I'm going to dial it back a little to achieve the desired shadow. Lighting tip number two, black body. This function tends to make our lighting look more real because it takes into account the Kelvins. So we can go over to the lighting settings and right over here, we can select use emission nodes. And when you press on this little button, you can select black body and it will change the way in which our light operates. The lighting of the black body node looks way more like actual lights do in a scene because it also operates on Kelvin. It kind of works the same as the white balance on your camera, as you can see. Making a forest scene, you need some shadows. But how are you going to achieve those shadows? First of all, we are going to make a plane and then we're going over to the Sculpting tab. In the Sculpting tab, we can select Dine Topo and set it to around 12 pixels. You can sculpt over the mesh just a little bit, but not too much. So now we can click on Remesh and if you use a size of around two centimeters, it will break the mesh in a way that is very randomized. And we can use this to project our light onto the scene. Now, if you run into this problem with the remesh modifier, you can go over to the modifier tab and add a solidify modifier and then put it above the remesh. And now you can see it works out. So now we've got a destroyed plane, but we've got to duplicate it a couple of times and place it above our render. Now, when we place our area light or sun lamp above it, we get accurate shadows that really look like a forest. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next time. Bye.